Right now at 6, more and more teenagers are going under the knife to try to look their best. From breast augmentations to a simple Botox procedure, we're talking about cosmetic surgery. They think if they change everything on the outside, they're going to feel better on the inside, and that's not going to happen. Jason Guy found out there's more to it than meets the eye. Today's selfie-obsessed culture is leading to a skyrocketing increase in the number of teens going under the knife, often to look like images that have been filtered and fixed. Back in, in 2015, there were about 64,000 surgeries on people between 13 and um, 17 years of age. In 2015 and 2017, there were almost 230,000. That's data from the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, or ASPS, the world's largest organization of board-certified plastic surgeons. Dr. George Pope is an Orlando-based plastic surgeon and a member of ASPS. They see uh, friends on Facebook who get all these likes, and they, they take selfies, and they post things, and they look great. And, and there's a lot of peer pressure to look as great as they can. ASPS outlines age recommendations for various procedures, such as breast implants. That a woman really should be 18 years of age for cosmetic breast enhancement. If she has a, a deformity or an asymmetry, it's different. But Dr. Pope has concerns about non-surgical options, too. There have not been studies, long-term uh, studies, that really show the, the safety or efficacy of uh, treating young people with Botox and fillers. But plastic surgery serves an important role in medicine. I see a lot of children that are mauled by dogs, uh, but also people who have disease like cancer. We do a lot of reconstruction for women, for example, that have breast cancer. I don't think there's anything wrong with plastic surgery. Licensed mental health counselor Chantal Boss says teens should first address why they want surgery. They think if they change everything on the outside, they're going to feel better on the inside, and that's not going to happen. And she warns, teens are still maturing. I think the concern is just making sure that they're developmentally where they need to be, and physically, that this isn't something they will outgrow. Teens may not consider some procedures put them at risk of serious mental and physical problems like infections or complications. Dr. Pope says young people need to remember this. But they shouldn't have any outside pressure from peers or Facebook or parents to look a certain way. Jason Guy, WASH 2 News. And you can get more information about plastic surgery, age guidelines, and board-certified surgeons in Central Florida on the ASPS website. Just head on over to our website, WASH.com. Could you pass the same...